Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 새해복많이받으세요아けましておめでとうございます。今年もよろしくお願いします。Hello， 大家好，我是花样琼，祝大家在二零二零年万事如意，事事顺心，天天开心。Hello and welcome to this festive episode of Badminton Unlimited. Coming up on the show, we hit the red carpet for a glamorous night in badminton, and we find out who came away big winners at the Player of the Year Awards 2019 in Guangzhou. And for the last time this year, we bring you our top five plays. Once a year, the season's best shuttlers across all categories gather for the gala dinner in celebration of the year's achievements. A wonderful time to change out of their badminton attire, show off their glamorous side, and to reflect on their season. Yo, 请人家帮忙想一下，看要怎么穿会比较体面一点。对对对，还还蛮喜欢的。对，希望以后有很多机会可以这样子穿。十分啊，当然，必须的啊！我九分吧，九分。哇，我应该七分吧，六分。对，普普通通。对啊，麒麟十分，我十点一分。It's the end of the year and last tournament, and we all have gala dinner where everybody is going to be dressed really, really well. And I really like to dress up, so looking forward to enjoy the gala dinner. 我觉得很荣幸能来到这里吧，就是能参加这个比赛，然后打经过一年的努力，我觉得也是一种认可吧。我还是觉得很兴奋吧，因为证明我们这一年，呃，还是比较稳定的发挥。Yeah, for me, it's my first time in Guangzhou and Super Series final. I feel this year is very uh, difficult for last year because this year for Olympic Hoi also. So that's why we have to work hard. I saw that I didn't get the best dress award today. Because I always win the best dress award every year. Anyway, the other awards I think I can't get the best dress. 我觉得最佳着装奖就是何冰娇，因为她穿的是就是很有中国特色的那个汉服，所以我觉得不是她就是有黑幕。谢谢。就是我本来小仙女，仙女下凡了，仙女。但是我穿白色的裙子，我姥爷说不够靓丽。可是我在，可是我在就是头发和就是首饰上下了功夫。明天她就要穿 A O S A A O S A 的裙，然后转。Let it go. Press this. I choose Lavinda. <laughs> Lavinda because the more sexy in this title. <laughs> I choose national because it's a Thai national dress. I know. Hi, Mina. Dress, put on, wear, wear. Usually, when I dress, I don't look at the face. I don't have any expression. 楽しみです。えっといつもはそんなにこうドレスアップというかしないんですけど、今日はしっかりスーツで髪の毛もセットされてすごくいいと思います。10点です。大概呃七分吧，就是呃就简简单单的，然后去去把自己做好这样子。觉得学长都这么谦虚的话，我肯定不能比他高分了、啊。那我就跟他一样七分，九分，<笑>十分吧，十分吧，就是，呃，就他怎么穿都挺漂亮的，是很漂亮，非常漂亮。他肯定是十分啦，我的板凳怎么可能会少分
，因为本来是八分啊，在旁边变成十十分了。今天嘴巴那么甜。I think he's uh, he's winning the the best dress this year. Also, uh, also a nine, also a nine. I think we can share the best rest. <laughs> the top performers of the year were honored at the Badminton World Federation's Player of the Year Awards, which was presented at the opening ceremony and gala dinner of the second edition of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. The prestigious awards recognize the achievements of elite badminton players and pairs in six categories, including two in power badminton. The nominees were selected by the BWF Awards Commission based on their performances throughout the year. Kento Momota, winner of 11 titles this year, including the Total BWF World Championships, was honored with the Male Player of the Year Award. The Japanese had an outstanding season, during which he won most of the major titles, including the World Championships, the Badminton Asia Championships and the All England. Kento Momota. そうですね、えー、まずこのような賞をいただけたのはすごく嬉しいですし、えー、でも本当にたくさんの方のサポートのおかげだと思っているので、えー、これからも感謝の気持ちを忘れずに、えー、頑張っていきたいなと思います。Huang Yachong picked up the Female Player of the Year for the second consecutive time, holding off competition from Cheng Chengchen, Jia Yifan, Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota, and Tai Tzu Ying. Huang and partner Zheng Siwei were nearly unstoppable most of the season. Not only did they win the World Championships for the second time, but also all three Super 1000 titles, All England Open, Indonesia Open, China Open. 就其实也是很开心，但我觉得还是更多的是意外吧，因为其实今年也没有说是呃有提名，但是没有说能想到说是拿到这个最佳女运动员奖。对，呃，因为去年是非常就是说期待说是拿这个奖，因为更多的是去年拿了这个奖，今年就可能觉得可能不是我了，对，可能就是会换一个运动员这样子。China's Ju Simo, winner of 12 gold medals this year, won the Male Para Badminton Player of the Year award, ahead of Pramod Bhagat, Lucas Mazo, and Deva Anrimushti. Very很激动，然后因为第一次拿，呃，希望以后还可以继续拿吧。还希望自己继续保持吧，因为保持，因为明年奥运会了，因为羽毛球刚立项，在东京奥运会，我希望可以打好今年第一届这个奥运会。Indonesia's Liani Ratri Oktila claimed her second successive female para badminton player of the year award. Oktila, whose season hall consisted of 12 gold, two silver and one bronze, was chosen for the honor from a nomination list that included Sarima Satomi, Yu Yu Tong and Ayako Suzuki. Perasaannya sekarang bangga, senang apalagi ini pencapaian yang untuk yang kedua kalinya dapat peringkat ini. Saya pasti lebih semangat lagi dan lebih berambisi lagi untuk bisa jadi juaranya terutama untuk di Tokyo nanti Paralimpik. Korean women's doubles pair Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, who in their first full season together, were voted most improved player of the year. Ahead of fellow contenders Satwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy, Chirag Shetty, Praveen Jordan, Milati Deva Oktavianti and Michelle Lee. Kim and Kong won four titles including the Japan Open and the Korea Open. 생각 생각지도 못하게 받게 되어서 또 하나의 추억이 언니랑 생긴 것 같아서 기분이 말로 표현할 수 없을 만큼 좋아해. 그렇게 말해 주시면 고맙게 진짜 감사하게 생각하고 어 그런 것보다 올 한해 그냥 진짜 파트너랑 같이 그냥 그 올림픽 앞두고 레이스 중에 이런 상을 받게 돼서 또 이런 큰그 대회고. 이런 파티에서 이런 상을 받게 돼서 너무 기분이 좋고 한, 생각지도 못한 거여서 조금 생각을 했으면 아 생각을 좀 해왔을 텐데 <웃음> 말하는 거 근데 생각지도 못한 거여서 기분이 더두 배로 좋은 것 같아요. Korea had more reason to cheer as 17-year-old women's singles prodigy An Se Young was named most promising player of the year. Ahn finished the year in the top 10 of the world's rankings with season highlights being title wins at the French Open, Korea Masters, Akita Masters, Canada Open and New Zealand Open. 
이좀더 잘하라는 의미에서 주는 상 같아서 한편으로는 정말 좋기도 하고 이게 열심히 해야겠다는 생각도 많이 드는 것 같아요. 어, 일단 후보에만 올라와 있다고 해서 한국에서 가보라 해가지고 온 건데 받아가지고 되게 기분이 좋네요. The gala dinner was closed out with awards for the best male and female dress player. Victor Axelson in his stylish suit and Rachanok Intanon in her traditional tie outfit picked up the awards much to the crowd's delight. Of course, it's, uh, it's fun. It's a fun uh, sort of a prize to win, so uh, I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah. I think that is also, I need to show the Thai tradition, like the dress, because it's the first time for me also to wear this. But I don't expect that I will get the prize. <laughs> I really enjoyed competing, you know, that's, that was the main reason why, you know, obviously I enjoyed badminton, but also enjoyed the battles that I had as well. Um, I'd say probably the Europeans win, uh, that was, you know, coming sort of towards the end of my career and uh, yeah, it really meant a lot to me winning that. Um, not many of the English players have won that, so, you know, it was very special for me. After the Total BWF World Championships earlier this year, England's Rajiv Youssef caught time on his 14-year international career. A nine-time national champion, the 33-year-old walked away as his country's undisputed number one in men's singles since 2008. Other notable achievements include two Commonwealth Games medals, but his finest hour came in 2017, when he became the first Englishman in 27 years to be crowned European champion in singles. Now a coach with Badminton England, Youssef spoke to us about making that difficult decision. It was a combination of things. It was, you know, I'm getting, I was getting slightly older. Uh, my body was slowly starting to pick up a few uh, injuries, and yeah, that sort of thing was catching up with me a little bit. Um, I've got a young family, you know, I've got a young son, uh, and I've, I'm traveling away. The tour is getting, you know, jam packed at the moment, so I would have had to travel a lot. You know, I see some of the younger players in Milton Keynes, you know, the likes of Toby Penty, you know, really sort of progressing. So I think it's a good opportunity for those guys to have an opportunity at some of the bigger tournaments. I've been to two Olympic Games, three Commonwealth Games, you know, multiple World Championships, uh, and done well in a few of those tournaments. So I can look back and be very proud with how I've done. And so I just thought it was, felt like everything together it just made it the right time for me. There are definitely things that I've missed, you know, even um, just going around the world, traveling, great places, great countries, you know, mad badminton fans in Asia in, in a good way. You know, I miss that, you know, being in those arenas in that, uh, you know, having the energy, especially in big team events. You know, the Indonesian fans were really loud and some of the stuff I didn't miss, you know, like having to train every day, wake up really early and having to train every day. I mean, I still wake up early with my, with my little one, but uh, knowing that I don't need to train and put my body through a lot of physical pain is, uh, it, 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 it feels very nice. My knowledge is in singles. Uh, so I'm trying to help the singles players as much as possible. But as a coach, I want to be, you know, well-rounded. So for me, also being involved in some of the doubles players is, is a good experience for me and something I want to try and do. And just try and grow badminton and singles specifically in England. You know, that's always been a long-term target of mine. First of all, through playing and hoping that my results will help a, a generation of singles players. But now I can do that as a coach. So that's what I want to try and do. For me, when I was a young kid, I just wanted to enjoy myself and at the beginning, it was more of a family thing, you know, I just wanted to go and play and spend time with my family, really, and, you know, I was, it was something that I think came quite naturally to me, which I was very lucky about. Um, but yeah, I don't think I could ever imagine how, how my career progressed, and I'm very grateful. Thank you to all the people who have been watching my career, commenting on my career. Um, you know, it's always nice to hear good things and, you know, some bad things, which I take on board, but yeah, it's now I'm a fan as well, you know, just watching badminton and, and hoping it can grow uh, and just looking, you know, forward to watching great matches, especially at the next Olympics. Thanks, Reggie. Thank you. Time for a quick break here on Badminton Unlimited, but stay with us as we reveal our top five plays from the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. And we speak to world junior bronze medalist in women's singles, Pitaya Porn Chaiwan about her quest to become the best.
Hi, I'm Jason Hoshu. Hi, I'm Joshua Hover Yu. This is the Shuttle Stacking Challenge. In 30 seconds, we're gonna stack as many birds as we can and see how many we can get. One, two, three, go! Oh, I started too early. How much time do I got left? Hey, chill, 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 chill. Oh. Dad, I definitely didn't get it. You got more. <laughs> three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Damn it. You won. <laughs> Thirteen. I got twelve. <laughs> Next challenger, Josephine Wu. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eleven. Fifteen. Oh, I put a one. Today. Next challenger, Neil Yakura. Okay. Do I do it? How many do you have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 14. 14. Hi. Hi. So we just tied, so we're gonna do 10 seconds to see who wins. Tie again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Tie again. Uh, we tied again, so we're, now we're going to do it with our eyes closed. <laughs> Mention Thai badminton and the name Ratchanok Intanon comes into mind. Since her historic world title triumph in 2013, the world number five has since been the poster girl for her country. Naturally, 18 year old Pitayapon Chaiwon sees May, the name Intanon is affectionately known by, as her rival, whose accomplishments she hopes to emulate. Chaiwan spoke to us in Kazan where she was competing at the BWF World Junior Championships 2019. Claiming bronze at the end of the I Level Cups competition, the young Thai took time to share with us her journey into the sport. ค่ะก็เริ่มเล่นแบดตั้งแต่อายุก็เริ่มเล่นแบดตั้งแต่อายุ พอก็รู้สึกแบบเหมือนเราตีได้ก็พาลองไปฝึกดูแล้วก็เริ่มออกแข่งตอนเจ็ดขวบค่ะพออายุเก้าขวบก็ได้ไปออกต่างประเทศ
ทีมแล้วก็ประ,ประเทศไทยค่ะค่ะก็อยู่ด้วยกันค่ะซ้อมด้วยกันแล้วก็กินนอนด้วยกันก็ก็สนิทค่ะแต่ว่าก็ไปกินข้าวด้วยกันอะไรเงี้ยตลอดค่ะบางครั้งถ้าเราแบบอยากรู้อะไรเราก็สามารถถามพี่เขาได้ค่ะพี่เขาก็สามารถบอกได้ตลอดค่ะก็จะพยายามไม่คิดถึงความกดดันค่ะแต่ว่าเราก็ต้องพัฒนาตัวเองไปเรื่อยๆแล้วก็ให้ตัวเองมีศักยศักยภาพมากขึ้นค่ะมีคุณภาพมากขึ้นก็เป็นคนตลกตลกค่ะเฮฮาก็คุยเล่นกับเพื่อนก็ปกติอยู่แล้วค่ะก็ชอบฟังเพลงแล้วก็ดูหนังอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเมื่อก่อนตอนที่ยังเรียนอยู่ยังอยู่โรงเรียนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะก็เพื่อนๆชอบแบบพาไปชวนไปกินข้าวหลังเลิกเรียนอะไรเงี้ยแต่ว่าเราก็ไม่สามารถไปได้เราก็เคยคิดค่ะว่าแบบเราก็ต้องมีหน้าที่ที่ต้องทําอยู่แล้วเราเลือกมาทางนี้เราก็ต้องตั้งใจค่ะค่ะก็จะตั้งเป้าไว้ก็ซูเปอร์หนึ่งร้อยแล้วก็สามร้อยห้าร้อยขึ้นไปเรื่อยๆค่ะก็จะพยายามไต่ระดับไปเรื่อยๆแล้วก็ในการฝึกซ้อมก็จะเน้นความแข็งแรงแล้วก็ทำให้ตัวเองอแข็งแรงมากขึ้นค่ะแบบมีคุณภาพมากขึ้นค่ะ The of December had one very important tournament to close out the season. The HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2019 witnessed the best eight players in badminton battle tooth and nail to claim the tour's biggest prize. With plenty of exciting moments to pick from, here are our top five players from Guangzhou. Thanks to Chen and Jia, then uh, there's a chance that. Um... Oh, she missed it. Baheu saluting the crowd after twisting that one their way. She's delighted with her efforts. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, oh I, 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 I cannot believe it. <laughs> Up a neck cord, up a neck cord. Up a neck cord. Up a neck cord. <laughs> Play the net. Oh, it's, that's it. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, this is fabulous. <laughs> How did he get that? Still going. Oh, incredible. What a rally. Just listen to the crowd. He needs a 10 minute breather. What a good rally. Unbelievable. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that's the rally of the match so far. Extraordinary. That's it for this edition of Badminton Unlimited. Join us again next week for a very special episode as we hang out with Gronje Somerville for a day in her hometown of Melbourne, Australia.
I love Melbourne because of its great food. It's such a vibrant city to live in, the most livable city in the world. In the meantime, remember to log on to BWF's fan site, bwfbadminton.com, for all the latest updates and features on the sport. Happy holidays.